Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for Fear of the Walking Dead, leading up to Fear of the Walking Dead Season 7. This one is going to be doing a video talking about, we did a video on the CRM, and we talked about the CRM and kind of our video predictions for that portion of things this season. Now, I want to talk about the main threat. I want to talk about the main issue that our survivors are going to have to deal with in Fear Season 7, which is, what are my predictions for how the evil Strand storyline is going to play out? She won't have anything to do with me after. Okay guys, this is going to be doing a review for today. This one's going to be doing another Walking Dead video for today. This one's going to be doing a video for Fear the Walking Dead, leading up to Fear the Walking Dead Season 7's premiere. So, um, figured we'd do another Fear the Walking Dead discussion topic. It's been a little bit since we've done a Fear the Walking Dead video. Uh, in the last one, we did a video talking about CRM and what I think their role is going to be in Season 7 of Fear the Walking Dead. Uh, but now it is time to talk about the main threat and the main concentration in Fear Season 7, which is Strand, Victor Strand. So, uh, we're going to talk about his role this season exactly how I think that's going to go and uh, what the end results is probably going to be. So, um, this video, I know the conversation is going to drive because when I say what I'm about to say, people are going to be like, Dan, there is no way in hell that they would do that. So just hear me out in this video. Um, this is how I think the Victor Strand storyline is going to go. And this is how I feel like realistically something like this would go. There is no going back after what Strand did to Morgan in season six, episode 15, right? Like, like, let's start with that. There is no going back on what Strand did. There is no forgiving. There is no, no, no he tried to freaking murder you. You know, you're not, you're not going to just forget that. And even though this is fear and fear will do crap like that, um, Alicia and Charlie, it still is really annoying that, you know, it's like th there is a small possibility that they will just have them forgive and forget. Um, but I don't see it. I don't see it being like that this time. This is how I see the Victor Strand thing going. I could see this being the one storyline of Fear Season 7 that's actually good. And we actually get into some really good stuff here. And a lot of the conflict, you know. Um, and a lot of, you know, Strand and Alicia stuff. A lot of Morgan versus Strand stuff. Him telling him he failed as a leader. And how everybody, you know, has been trying things your way, Morgan. Well, guess what? Look at us now, right? You failed. And now I'm going to step in and do what you couldn't. So that Strand's mission is to prove that Morgan screwed up. And obviously he is, you know, kind of slowly, you know, starting to do that. Um, but the thing about it is, is that you can't go back with that. You can't redeem Strand after you do a storyline like that. Yes, it's fear. And they do some out there stuff. But it would be so dumb. And I don't even want to think of them having Morgan versus Strand. And then Morgan just spares his life and Strand just calms down. And then they just go back to normal, right? Like, I just hope that's not what they do. And this is why I have to make this prediction now. And this is the big one. Um, I think they're going to kill Strand in season seven of here. I do. I don't really see a way that they couldn't. Uh, that character has been super interesting. He has. He's been super interesting. But when you do something like this, when you give a character like Strand a role as a villain when he's been on our side, mostly, for, you know, a long time, you, you can't go back in season eight and just be like, oh yeah, that never happened, never mind. Because then, well, it would make this season look bad if they did, right? Um, I don't see them doing that, and I hate to say this, I think that we are looking at Strand's last season right here. Um... I mean, Coleman, like I said, he's a great actor. I think he's done great on this show. Um, and I, it's going to be sad to see him go. But if you're asking my opinion, I think someone's going to kill Strand. And I don't even think, and this is the thing, I don't even think it's going to be Morgan. Because it's, it's the cliche answer and it's the cliche whatever. You want my opinion? And this is the craziest thing about this. Uh, Daniel, they just have not been doing a good job with him lately. I mean, yeah, he has one good few scenes. And if it wasn't for what they've done with Daniel, I would have said Daniel would eventually kill Strand this season um i think alicia is going to put him down I, I do i think alicia is going to kill strand and i think that uh, she's going to do it to save morgan and to save everybody else and i think alicia is going to be the one that ends strand as much as i would prefer to see badass daniel face off against strand one last time and shoot him in the face but freaking kill him imagine that like Come on, Daniel, bro. Come on. This is your opportunity. If you're going to kill Strand in Season 7, give Daniel the final fight with this guy. I mean, come on, man. You can have him be pissed at Morgan. You can have him be this and that. But on the final fight, have him go up against Daniel one last time and have Daniel take him out for good. Um, that's what I wish. 
However, what I think, Alicia will probably kill him. That's that's the unfortunate thing. I think that Strand will die. I do think that this will be a rival that kind of goes through most of the season. Um, or it's like fear and they'll get rid of their villains within a half season. So maybe mid-season finale. Um, but I think that Strand will die either way in season seven of fear. More likely in the second half of the season. Um, and I think that Alicia will be the one to take him out. And Alicia will really feel the guilt. Because, you know, you know full well that Madison probably would be very like not sure about that but it's probably something Madison would have done if Victor got out of control too and I feel like that's probably what's going to push Alicia to do something like that um and you know I, I think that's what she's going to do and I think we're going to get a really big you know ending for that character so if you couldn't tell, if you couldn't tell from this video, it's the one storyline in Season 7 of Fear that I actually give two craps about. I don't care about the CRM because I know that's not going to go far. I don't care about the radiation storyline. I just don't care. The Victor Strand storyline, it has me interested. That's the one thing about this season. It has me interested. But will it flop is the part I'm concerned about. Um, but if they did it right, and if they, if they truly did it right... Daniel would take out Strand and Daniel would shoot Strand and he wouldn't miss, if you will. Um, and he would actually take Strand out in a final fight, man. Come on, come on, man. You've got Daniel right frickin' there. You've got Strand, he's going up against Morgan. That's all fine and dandy, whatever. But when the final fight comes down, if it's not Daniel, it would just be so, and I know it's probably not gonna be, that's the thing. But I just wish for, like, I would honestly beg for them to do a final fight with Daniel and Strand, and Daniel finally deals with Victor. Uh, come on, man, honestly. Who, am I the only one here that wants that? Like, am I the only one here that wouldn't want to see Daniel kill Strand once and for all? Um, and to, to help Morgan out, and to save the group, and this and that, and finally just face the enemy that's been his going enemy for all these seasons? Um, it would just be... Per, it would be perfect if you ask me. So uh, let me know now. I'm, that's all I'm going to say. That's my predictions for Strand. I do think the character is dead this season. I know that's far-fetched. And I know people are going to be like, Dan, it's Strand. Why would they kill Strand? Um, why would they kill John Dory? Right? You know, right? Like, honestly, I do think that Strand's going to be dead this season. And I think that that's why they've built up to this in the way they did is because they're going to kill off that character. So um, let me know in the comment section below. What do you guys think about Strand? Where do you see uh, his future? Where does his future lie for you? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. And of course, guys, if you're new here, click to subscribe and jump into some of my videos. So Fear of the Walking Dead, follow Dance, Walk, Review, subscribe, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys really soon for another Fear of the Walking Dead video. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out. Anybody out there?